Example 6.9. To simulate car accident, auto manufacturers study the collision of moving cars with mounted springs of different spring constants. Consider a typical simulation with a car of mass 1000 kg, moving with a speed 18 km per hour on a smooth road and colliding with a horizontally mounted spring of spring constant 6.25 into 10 raised to 3 newton per meter. Taking the coefficient of friction mu to be 0.5, calculate the maximum compression of the spring. Now the situation car is moving in this direction. Okay. So spring force that will be in opposite direction. Friction that will be here between two surfaces in the opposite direction of motion. Weight of the car mg vertically downward and normal reaction that is upward. Now let's calculate here work done in two different ways. First take work energy theorem. Delta K, change in kinetic energy equal to work done. So delta K that is half m Vf square minus half m Vi square. Final kinetic energy minus initial kinetic energy. But when maximum compression takes place, then car will be stopped. So final kinetic energy will be zero. So change in kinetic energy that is minus half m vi square. Okay. Now work done by net force. So here work done by spring force and work done by frictional force. So spring force and frictional force both are in positive x direction. And the displacement here that is in negative x direction because compression of the spring will take place. So net work done. Now work done by spring force that we already calculated half k x m square. Both are opposite. So here we have to take negative sign. Then work done by friction. So here friction and displacement opposite. So again minus F X M. So minus half K X M square F that is mu into N. So minus mu N X M. So W equal to minus half K X M square minus mu. Now N. N that is equal to Mg because it is in vertical equilibrium. So mg into xm. Now, if you calculate work done using work energy theorem or you calculate work done under the effect of net force, then work done is same one. Gamme te rite tamme work done kano. Work done to same aj rayu chhe. To ab ne ne apne compare kari diye. So minus half m vi square equal to minus half k x m square minus mu m g x m. Okay. Now multiply both the side by minus one and then after multiply by two or simply we can say multiply both the side by minus two. Then Resultantly, we can write m vi square equal to k x m square plus 2 mu m g x m. Take this part on this side. So k x m square plus 2 mu m g x m minus m vi square equal to 0. This equation is rewritten here. Now substitute the values of k, then xm square as it is, 2 mu 0.5, mass of car 1000, g 10, xm as it is, minus mass of car 1000, and vi, initial speed with which the car is moving, that is 5 meter per second. So 5 square of it, and that is equal to 0. 
Now, if we simplify this one, then we will get this quadratic equation 6.25 into xm square plus 10xm minus 25 equal to 0. Now you have to solve this quadratic equation and find out its solutions using the equation minus b plus or minus under root b square minus 4ac upon 2a, then you will get xm. Clear to all of you? Now work done under the effect of non-conservative forces, just like friction. Now suppose we have two forces. One is conservative force, another one is non-conservative force. So net force will be the summation of these two. Conservative plus non-conservative. So Fc plus Fnc. And suppose the displacement takes place that is delta x. Then the net work done that is net force into displacement and that is equal to change in kinetic energy. Now if we simplify this one then Fc into delta x plus Fnc into delta x equal to delta k. But for conservative force, we already discussed this thing. Fc that is equal to minus delta V by delta x or directly we can write Fc into delta x that is minus delta V. So here if we substitute Fc into delta x that is minus delta V and then if we take that minus delta V on right hand side, then we can write Fnc into delta x that is equal to delta k plus delta V. So Fnc into delta x that is delta into k plus V but k plus V that is total energy E. So delta into E that is Fnc into delta x. But a delta E that is the change in total mechanical energy. That is final mechanical energy minus initial mechanical energy. And now non-conservative force into displacement that is the work done under the effect of non-conservative force. So here we proved this thing, work done under the effect of non-conservative force that is equal to change in total mechanical energy. Clear to all of you?